From Philippine Brothers is here today at D04 Sentosa Cove area, the Southern Islands. So we're here to have a look at uni at the turquoise development. We have a four bedder, 2,433 square feet, three ensuite bedrooms, single floor plate, single loading, and priced attractively at $4.68 million at just $1,900 PSF. You also have three major anchoring future developments from the Greater Southern Waterfront. So let's head up to Unit and have a look. Alright, so welcome into the unit. We're here at a 4 beta unit at Turquoise where we have entered through. It's just your private lift lobby. So before we show you the rest of the house, let us take you through the views from the balcony over here. Full berth and sea view. So these are the views that you can get at two developments in this Sentosa Cove area, Turquoise and the other is Marine Collection. So Turquoise was built in 2010. It's a 91-unit development, so it's very quaint and cosy in this place. And it's done by Hobie, the same people who bring you like Cape Royal. And Turquoise is a place where it's special, where you get the waterway or the berth view and also the sea view. So you can see the big contrast in a sunny day like this, you can see the blue and the green, wonderful place to be in. Yeah, that's right. So where we're standing at is your balcony area, what the owners have actually done. They split into two segments. So one would be like your Zen garden area where you have I think, some pebble stones to walk about. This area is where I think you can host your guests for your planter area. They've already decked it up. So this particular unit, 2433 square feet, four bedder layout. All the bedrooms have been kept intact except for one bedroom that has been combined with the master bedroom. Back then when Sentosa Cove was first developed, I think a lot of the buyers, they were buying in for the luxury status as well as the comfortability in size for these developments. But I think right now in where we're at 2024, all the buyers for Sentosa Cove have something to look forward to in terms of the future potential. So there are three anchoring points. One would be the capital development where you have 9,000 housing flats coming up. The other two will be the Tanjong Paga port relocation as well of Pulau Brani. So these three anchoring developments are slated to be completed by year 2040, starting as early as 2020. So I think it's a very exciting time for the Sentosa Cove residences. And what we're going to be buying into is all the potential benefits before the developments taking place so that you can enjoy the future price appreciation. So now back to the balcony wise, this owner specifically chose this because she likes to enjoy the view, also the privacy because you have a very wide balcony but then again nobody really looks in because we're overlooking to the Sentosa landed homes and at the sides you realise that they're all walled up so you don't really see your neighbours, you yes. can enjoy your party without having to disturb them at the same time as well. Yeah. This view is really, really quite rare. That double view of the berth plus the ocean. So I think this is really something that is a rarity effect in uh, just Sentosa Coast itself. Yeah. For Turquoise, of course, we're within Sentosa. And of mm. course, people always say that, oh, it's very far away. It's a, it's a place that, you know, I can only imagine like, going in for a vacation. But that's not very true. I experienced it myself. It's just a very leisure 10 minute drive and never has there been jams. I can even open up the windows because the air is so fresh right here. Yep. And of course, there's a shuttle bus that brings you from the condo to Vivo City and at your Harbourfront Centre. That's where your Harbourfront MRT station is at. Other than that, of course, when you were to go towards your left side, that's where you go towards Singapore Silicon Valley, that's yep. your One North area. And of course, you go further down, there will be Clementi and Jurong where all your schools are at, NTU and NUS as well. Then of course, you go towards your right, that's where your CBD is at, 15 minutes drive. So I think it works well whether you're a working class person, be it you're someone with um, school going children, I think yep. definitely a uh, location not to be missed also. Alright, so where we're standing at is your living room area. So you can see that the split dining and living is just side by side for this um, particular layout. The owners have actually chosen a very modern contemporary style to go with. They have some wood elements bringing some warm tones towards the house. This area here will be your dining table area already. What I would prefer to do with this area is maybe I want to split my dining table to like a landscape kind of orientation so I can set up like maybe a dry pantry. I prefer to go on the art side. So I think that you can also put in a mini grand, probably even a grand piano and it can fit very well over here. Because of the orientation and the size of the unit where you have a nice sizable balcony, you can put an alfresco dining set over there. But if let's say you still require the interior dining table, then I think we can still do a bit of modification over yeah. here where you can, I think, swap the peninsula table into an island table. You just have to change the orientation a bit. A lot of people like island um, concept as well because mm. they like that there's a lot of interaction space around it because the way that the owner has already currently designed 
they framed up this whole window area. You can sit down, then I can be interacting a lot with my guests. All right, so what we will expect with, uh, I think a Sentosa Cove property is definitely of your dry kitchen area and your wet kitchen area. They have a dry cooking area outside with an induction cooker. And interior, they have a burner for more heavy duty cooking. Mm. Changing the orientation of the peninsula table to an island table will allow you to do one very key thing, which is to expand your kitchen. What you can do is actually hack this wall away, turn your oven tower 90 degrees, and you can actually enclose this space over here. So coming in further to the kitchen, this is where your washer tower is. You have your washer and dryer, your service door is over here. This is where all your deliveries will come in through. We also have the yard area with the WC, if you want to convert this into like something like a helper's room. And just one more thing before I forget, this is where your home shelter area is. If you want to convert this into a dry pantry, that is more than good enough space over here. When it comes to District 4, right, there's always a lot of questions about like the big question especially is whether I should be buying at the main island or I should be buying at Sentosa because it might seemingly be more expensive to be buying at Sentosa maybe just because of the luxury tech line. Maybe it can help us to bust some of these myths yep. and misconceptions. Yeah, so I think buying into Sentosa, why it was originally the myth that it was a bigger price tag is generally because the properties in Sentosa are larger. But I think on the main island now, when PSF pricing has already caught up to um, above where Sentosa is right now, the overall quantum is very relatively similar. Caribbean at Capital Bay, TOP in 2004, the PSF price range is at now 1,800 to 2,800 and size ranges from 1,003 to 2,400 square feet. Reflections at Capital Bay, TOP at 2013, $1,600 PSF to $2,800 PSF. Size ranges from about 2,000 square feet to 3,000 square feet. Corus at Capital Bay with TOP 2016, PSF price ranges from 2004 to 2008, size ranges from 2005 to 3,000 square feet as well. The reef at King's Dock stated to TOP in 2025, PSF price ranges for the transacted units there are around $2,500 to $2,700. We also have turquoise where we're standing at, priced at about $1,900 PSF, asking price of $4.68 million, sized at 2433 square feet compared to what you see on the main island. The PSF pricing definitely there's a disparity effect right now where you're seeing about even close to $600 PSF price difference for some of the newer developments. I think that's a rarity in the market. That's right. So in fact, this is a, what I call a sweet spot. And because we have one single floor plate of space, be it it's your first home, you know that you can be expanding your family here, grow up. You can even retire here because this is the ultimate lifestyle that everybody looks towards. So I think now let's head on to the master bedroom and have a look at the interior. Waking up Alright, so coming in here, this is where you access your master bedroom. So Feli, would you like to share with us what's behind door number one? This is actually originally the common room. And of course, they are using the adjacent toilet right here because this is the only one out of the four bedrooms that is not ensuite. So coming in here, I think uh, when you come into your left, this is where you have your walk-in wardrobe area with your Manhattan-style wardrobe space. This would be also your master ensuite where you have your bathtub, your shower area nicely segregated. You even have like a bay window seating area. Generously sized master bedroom toilet. You even have your glass panels that allow that natural light coming in. And if we were to flip towards the other side, then uh, Furly. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Now this is originally the fourth bedroom of this house. They have already converted it into a walk-in wardrobe, a dream for everybody. Floor to ceiling height wardrobes, consistent theme with the developer's Manhattan style. And of course, the good thing is that if you really still want to transform this back into like a baby's room, you still have your aircon right tucked at the top. The door is still intact for you. One other idea that I have for you is because this area is actually facing towards the beautiful view of the ocean as well as the berth, you can just take down these shelves, change it into a study area, and then of course this can be your work from home space but otherwise I would love it if you were to keep it this way enjoy an extension of the master room making this an entire grand master room This is actually where the master room space is. The master room actually has a slanted wall. They already did the interior design to line up the cabinetry to make it look a bit more regular shaped. They also have bedside tables by the side as well as charging points done up already. All right, so now I think let's head on to the other common rooms. Uh, and we're going to run there because the place is so big. <laughs> so this is a long corridor. This is, this is something that I think you can add on the beauty of this entire layout. We have like this private corridor that separates your two bedrooms apart. So the wonderful thing about this house is that they have three ensuite bedrooms and this is one of them. I would say this is one of the smallest bedrooms as well, but yet it can be hosting a queen bed 
as well as your very full-size toilet. The toilet is cladded in marble finishing, so it's very easy for maintenance. I don't think you need to do much to this toilet. So right next to this, then of course, you have your wardrobe that's already tucked in here, as well as a queen-size bed. Now, this room also enjoys the same good height space that is also facing towards a lot of greenery, so the privacy is good as well. So I think next, let's head on to uh, the other common room. So it's connected by this planter over here. So you have actually that option of combining these two bedrooms, which we will talk a little bit more later on. Crosswind ventilation coming all the way from the living room. So this will be the study room area that the owners have utilised right now. They put in a massage chair, study table, even built in some hanging cabinetry over here. They even have a wine cellar to make use of this corner of space over here. So one option, if you want to have bigger bedrooms for this area, then what you can do is actually combine the two bedrooms together so that you can have bigger, something like a junior master kind of configuration. Put in two single size bed or even a double decker because of the ceiling height. So I think that's more than good enough. Otherwise, if you want to leave it segregated, then I think this is already very nicely done up for you already. So wrapping it all up, this is a four bedroom apartment in Turquoise, 2,433 square feet, asking at $4.68 million at around $1,900 PSF. Slate of rejuvenation with three anchoring potential future developments at the Greater Southern Waterfront area. So if you like this video, do remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channels, Facebook channels and Instagram channels as well. We're also on TikTok, Pili Pili. And until the next time, my name is Sebastian. Felicia. Property Brothers. Always, always happy, happy to, happy to show, show you place. place. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> right, so we're talking about D04 for buyers who are looking to buy into this area, definitely capitalizing on the sea views. I think there are some uh, dilemmas of the buyers, whether they should buy into... Hey, wait, think... you steal my line. <laughs> <laughs> then, then I... And if I just to flip over, Fali will show you the rest of the master bedroom. Hi. <laughs> 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 Our wall line of... Sorry, hold on. Good and itchy. <laughs>